continue to grow. Here's why. Around the world, economies have fallen apart. Pension plans are bankrupt. There is a massive need for supplemental income. That will continue to drive people, even in much older ages, into network marketing. Because they're not going to be able to dig ditches at 60 and 70 and 80. And they're going to live a long time. But they can open their mouths and talk and share products and opportunity with people. Number two, the need to be active and engaged. People are going to live a lot longer. Just being involved, being an active and engaged and having your mind working is a really important thing. It's, it's social and it's belonging, right? It's a more efficient business model. In this business, nobody gets paid unless they really produce, right? In the corporate world, people get paid all the time without producing. Number four, today the world is a network. The whole world's become a network. The world has come to our business model. That's what's happened. And it's getting stronger and stronger. And that's one reason our future is unbelievably bright. And in this business, rewards equal contribution. In this business, there's no such thing as being overpaid and there's no such thing as being underpaid. It doesn't exist. You get paid exactly what you've produced in terms of people and network and product volume. Exactly what you're worth. No more, no less. So that's a value judgment right there, okay? And num number six, we're going to see unparalleled growth rates right now. We're seeing them in this industry right now. And so when you stop and consider the future, we have, since the beginning of this industry, we started around late 50s in this country, only 13 companies have achieved a billion dollars in annual revenue. 13. And there have been hundreds of thousands of companies. 13, okay? Anytime you have a new industry, it's like the Wild West. The same thing happened in franchising. You know, 70 years ago, people came up with this idea, well, we could actually franchise. We could create a business model, and then we could, like, franchise that. We could get people to pay, it for, pay us for it, and we could brand this thing, and we could take some of the task away from them and just sell them a little business model, and they could just get into these things, and they could do it and make money. And in the beginning of franchising, it was horrible. People were selling ideas and ripping people off and double-selling territories to people and screwing people out of their money. And eventually, regulation came to the industry of franchising. And then we had the monsters born, you know, Subway and McDonald's and all these companies. And, and franchising is looked on as a completely legitimate industry. It has created lots of millionaires. It's a, it's a tr tremendous new way to distribute product, okay? That same thing, that process is happening with network marketing. The crazy, stupid, Wild West days are going away. And we're seeing companies that have professional management, that understand the power of these business models, that are emerging right now. And we're on the cusp of really changing this whole industry as it matures. That's where we come in as leaders, where we vote with our feet. We make sure that we hold people accountable that run these companies. We make sure that this industry doesn't get tarnished by a few that are bad the bad apples, and we make sure that it can reach its real potential because it can be way better. It's more efficient than any other kind of business model. And because it's more efficient, it can actually become better and bigger. It should become bigger and better. We are just beginning to hit our power band in this industry. This industry really is just coming out of its infancy right now. People have really figured out what the models are how to do it and how to be consumer protective and how to make sure that people see a different view. We change the paradigm of network marketing. The old business models are fading. They don't work anymore and people know it. Technology is massively on our side in a huge way like, like no one could ever have imagined it would be like this. I couldn't imagine when I started doing this 30 years ago that it would be like this, that I could talk to anybody, any place, anytime in the world for free for as long as I wanted. That didn't exist before when I started in this business. And because of this, the companies now that are the biggest companies, you know, are 12, 13 billion. Those are big companies. But they're really not very big compared to the Apples, you know, and the Microsofts and the Procter and Gambles and the Coca-Colas of the world. We're talking $100 billion companies that have, you know, had a business model they've been working on for 150 years in many cases, right? This business model is relatively new, but it's maturing. And that's why I really believe we're going to see in the future $20 billion companies, $30 billion companies, $40 billion companies in this industry. And if you're lucky enough to learn this industry and be part of it, then your future is going to change. But most importantly, you will affect the lives of literally 
millions of people in the process of doing that. And it all depends on us. So be a network marketing pro.